are we eating today? I don't know. I want Asian food, but I also want Mexican food. Too bad we can't just have both. 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 your favorite foodie here. Gord Ramsey wishes he had this moment here. This is a map the stomach's aching. We're at Chris and John's Vietnamese street food with a little Mexican twist. I haven't had this place in over a year. This is one of my Dallas favorites. We've been coming to this place for a long time before they blew up and got all famous. Lines are usually out the roof and going all the way to the back. Wanted Asian food, wanted Mexican food. Why not both? Go check out this food. Enough about me and more about myself. Minutes, guys, 10 minutes in, and the line's already here. It's gonna be a little bit, but man, this is so excited. Order is placed, guys. You got the fadilla large with the short ribs, you got a ramen burrito with fried chicken with a fried egg, you got some elote for the culture. Also have some Vietnamese rice. And you also had to get the burrito tacos because the mustache don't lie, guys. The mustache does not lie. That means you're about to get into it. Let's throw it down, guys. Enough about me and more about myself. Ramen burrito, guys. Ramen burrito. Pho, quesadilla, elote. Let's get cracking, guys. Bite the peach, the peach bites back. Ooh. It's already hot already. Yeah. Might be spicy, might be really good. Before I eat it all. Okay. Viewer discretion advised. That's it, guys. This is it. Oh, man, that's so good. Mm, so good and tasty. That's so good. Short rib, oh my goodness. Fadia. First time I did like this. I cannot believe the food that I cannot button the pants. Get ready for round two. This music is a bomb. It is a bomb. This is the proper way to be talking, you guys. <laughs> Not entirely consummate, angry bar. Let's try it out, guys. Y'all know how I am. Sinuses. That's why the lettuce is there, guys. I'm getting all these carbs and sodium my body's actually like me. Right now my leg feels so much better right now. Food was delicious guys. Time to get our first post cheat meal treat. Enough about me and more about myself. That place got really busy. Come on a weekday because if you come on a weekend, yeah, you're going to be waiting for a while, man. Sheesh. Also met a cool couple, they uh, recommended me a food spot, so, you know, hey, I'm always down to take food recommendations, guys. Y'all drop a Dallas link or something. Chris and John's, though, had the fadilla with the short rib, extra cheese, 
Oh man, that was so amazing. The ramen rito, if you will, with egg, fried chicken, also delicious, elote. Vietnamese rice paper is pretty good, just a little messy. Barilla tacos, can't, can't go wrong with that. Overall, really good food. Got a little bit of my Mexican food in there, got my Asian food. Um, we're going for a little sweet treat real quick, guys, if you know what I mean. It's not a cheat day without me eating my sweets, am I right? Time to go get these desserts, guys. Enough about me and more about myself. All right, guys, post cheat day snack number one, crumble cookies. I'm a crumbler, guys. I know, it's sad and pathetic. I use my crumble points today. That's how much I be buying these cookies. I'm looking forward to the Kentucky butter cake. Loving my peanut butter. But yeah, enough about me and more about myself. I'll see you guys at my crib. Uh, you know what time it is, guys. Kentucky butter cake. Mm. Man, that's good. Vanilla bean cake. <laughs> Burger. Love my sweets, guys. Berry crunch. Yeah, cornbread on that. Wish there was more icing. You know I love peanut butter, guys. The peanut butter isn't as prominent as I was hoping. Now the one I'm not looking forward to. We gonna make it work. Mmm. Mmm. It's a thick boy. Ooh, that's thick, man. It's a thick one. It's like a wad. It's so thick, man. I don't care for coconut, guys, but man, that's good. Classic pink. We haven't had it in a while. Apparently, Crumble took these off. No. It's really soft. Too soft. I know what you're thinking. It's so early. The sun's still out. It's raining. This is not desserts though. Well, this is like the treat after the meal. We still got another dessert, guys, later tonight. If I put y'all on Crumble, let me know. Comment down below. You can start sending your referral codes. Y'all can feed my addiction. Finally getting full. Mmm. Alright, guys. <clears throat> well, rest of these cookies are for Sarah. Split them in halves. So, that's it for me. Dessert number one is done. Dessert number two is next. I'll see y'all come dessert time, maybe dinner. But yeah, enough about me and more about myself. Ah, yes, dessert time, guys. Last time you saw me, I was down in cookies at like noon. It is 11 o'clock, same day. So here you have it, guys. Dessert time. Not too crazy today. If y'all remember from my Cubano video from a couple weeks back, got some Buckeye brownies. Well, we're gonna finish the rest of them off today. Found this at the grocery store. Reese's snack cakes, so try that out. Just like me in bed, today's video is a little short and sweet, and I always gotta end it off with an apology, guys. Yeah, Chris and John's, I know the audio was a little tough because of the noise, the crowd, but I hope y'all got to at least enjoy some of the food that I was eating. I enjoyed it. Yeah, y'all definitely need to go to Chris and John's. It is a must have when you come to Dallas. It is a place I recommend to all my friends. I've been going there since I moved here in like 2019. It's awesome to see that they are blowing up. As far as what I've ate today after the Chris and John and the crumble cookies, I had dinner with my family. Got some just pork chops and mashed potatoes. Dessert time. Y'all remember last time my favorite was the snickerdoodle and chill, so I'm looking forward to that. And the lunchbox, which is also really good. It's melty. Comment down below, what would you rather have, a ramen burrito or a pho quesadilla? Cool thing about Chris and John is they also have a 10 pound pho burrito. So if this video gets, I was gonna say over 10 likes. <laughs> if this video gets over 20 likes somehow, I'll do something related to that 10 pound burrito. Like this video. Oh, Lunchbox. Oh, Lunchbox, you are my only friend. to make a brownie this good but they do fuck that brownies guys they have some new flavors out right now like heath heath bar butterfinger strawberry creamsicle new york cheesecake i definitely want to try those i might 
I said good writers. Be old fashioned. Mm, I'm melting. Uh, I drank all my milk during the crumble cookies, guys. So this is the MVP. I wasn't a big fan of this one. It just tasted okay. Hopefully, it tastes better now. So all right. Mm, still the best, guys. I will say I did warm these up because I didn't have them in the freezer, and I was gonna try to eat them straight up. I don't know how that would work. Last time I had these brownies, I remember when I filmed them, they were warm for the video, but then I did some content the next day for like my shorts, and I ate them cold, and they were a lot better. So let's try these guys. <clears throat> Is it Reese's? Reese's? I see people say Reese's. It makes me wonder if I've been saying they're wrong my whole life. Reese's? I know, right? Oh, damn, that looks cool. It's like a, it's like a little bar. <laughs> That's a lie. It's not that crunchy. I was hoping it was going to be crunchier. That's alright. I don't know what it reminds me of. It's a life or something. Snack cake's okay. thought it was going to be better. All this sugar and water makes Matt a dull boy. Oh, man. Matt the stomach ache, you guys. Sugar pop tart on this. Hmm. This is what I'm rocking with right now. The old fashioned MVP. Those are really, really chocolate heavy, and I'm drinking water right now, so those just seem just like really horrible to eat and swallow. We'll just have another bite. Hmm. Oh, that one's so good, guys. I have no idea. But is it my dessert of the day? Caramel coconut fudge from Crumble. That cookie is pretty goaded. The Snickerdoodle and Chill is pretty damn good too. But like, that cookie was so fat. Like, it was just so good, guys. But by the way, I didn't eat all the cookies last filming. I was gonna split them with Sarah, but I ended up eating them all anyway. Sarah only had the pink cookie and like had maybe like little bites of each of them, but I pretty much hate five cookies. If I'm not mistaken, those cookies are like 500 to like 700 calories a cookie, and it varies because it's all based on weight. So, and now I'm eating these half pound, well, it's like a quarter pound. Um, I'm gonna call it right here. I just got these two, and too much chocolate for me right now. I wish I had milk, so I'm gonna wash it down because I'm kind of hitting my wall right now. I ate dinner like maybe two hours ago. But yeah, that's today's cheat day, Chris and John. Um, in Dallas on Preston Road go there guys really good Vietnamese food you know it's funny every time I go there I really don't ever get like you know the straight Vietnamese stuff apparently they have a short rib pho that's like to die for I saw like someone order it earlier had like the bone sticking out and everything the broth and it looks so good there's so much stuff from Chris and John's I, I still need to try Fadia oh that was pretty that was like Fadia was definitely the best best thing from there Sarah's happened to end up eating more of it. That's the theme of this. I always save Sarah food, but I always eat it, guys. I apologize. I'm a selfish lover and a selfish eater. If you made this part of the video, guys, thank you for watching. Of course, if you like anything food-related, food content, or Dallas food, subscribe to the channel. Like this video, comment, share. And as always, guys, I can't wait to see y'all next week, finding more cool Dallas restaurants and whatnot. This is Matt the Stomach's Aching, and I will see y'all next week. Enough about me and more about myself. Matt, guys.